All over the world, highly trained pilots and air traffic controllers are observing strange objects in the skies. In the past, they've been reluctant to speak publicly about their experiences, but a growing number are now prepared to come forward. Captain Werner Utter was one of Germany's most distinguished commercial pilots. During his time as chief pilot with Lufthansa, he had three separate sightings of UFOs, and although he didn't report them at the time, he's prepared to talk about them now. On one flight, we took off in Beirut. The destination was Damascus first, and when we have passed the Lebanon mountain, I saw a light just ahead of our airplane. And suddenly this light came very fast towards us. First I thought it was an airplane, and uh, this big light, it was two meters in diameter, and it was pulsating. It was standing between the inside left engine and the cockpit. Suddenly, after one or two minutes, this light went up like a rocket and disappeared. Some years later, Captain Utter had another UFO sighting. This time, he reported it to air traffic control at Maastricht. This is the actual conversation. Okay, fine, at 461, about four miles ago, we passed a unknown object uh, like a cigar. Do you have anything on the scope? What does it look like? Looked like a cigar, about uh, three, four meters. Uh, it was too fast. No, we have nothing on the radar. Okay, fine, it was about 100 meters below us, just passing. The only kind of UFO. Maybe the civil one stock. UFOs are being seen in the skies over different continents. In February 1995, an American pilot encountered a strange light while flying over Albuquerque. Like Werner Utter, he too reported it to air traffic control. Uh, we were at 37,000 feet, 100 miles from Albuquerque at night, and uh, the whole cockpit just lit up, kind of this bluish green. And I thought air traffic control had put another aircraft at our altitude by accident. It, was, it seemed so close. And it was uh, going thousands of miles an hour. I'd never seen anything that fast. And so air traffic control uh, got on, and we said, do you see anything on your uh, screen? And, and she said, no. And then she asked the other airliners in the area, and they said, yeah, we see it too. And one guy said, oh, it must be space debris. And, and right when he was saying that, this thing, a big pulse of white light came from behind it. And it just took off at a 45 degree angle back up. And I got on the radio and I said, well, when does space debris or meteorites go back up? And at that time, not, there were four other airliners uh, representing all the carriers, and they, nobody wanted to report it. British pilot Graham Shepard had two UFO sightings in 30 years of flying, but it wasn't lights in the sky that he saw. I had a very clear view of this craft as it came towards us. It flew slightly below us, several hundred feet below us, and about a quarter of a mile away. And I had a very fine view in, in the sunlight, reflecting sun, of a hub-shaped craft. I would say about 30 feet across. It was quite distinct in its outline. There was a number of uh, fair weather cumulus clouds around giving very, very good depth perception so that this was between us and the clouds that we were flying over. And once we got back to London, we discussed the whole sighting and came to the conclusion that we shouldn't report it because it would be detrimental to the career, to our career prospects. It looked like a cigar, about uh, three, four meters. Uh, it was too fast. Pilots see something that is unusual and very strange. The chances are very high that it won't be reported. So my opinion is that there is a huge resource of, of experience and sightings that have never been reported. <laughs> 